Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Kilby and I am a newly qualified health psychologist. Um, so currently I work in two roles. So one of my roles is a research associate at the University of Manchester and my other role is an external evaluation researcher for NHS Education for Scotland. Um, so a typical day for me, obviously I work in two roles at the moment, so immediately it's quite diverse and quite varied. Um, but yeah, my roles are research based at the moment. So um, typical sort of day-to-day -day research activities, so that might involve um, participant recruitment, so managing the research adverts and responding to inquiries about the studies. Um, both of my work research projects at the moment are qualitative, so I'll then be arranging and undertaking semi-structured interviews with participants on a one-to-one -one basis, um, which is great fun. And then I'll do things like analysis and report writing as well as part of my day-to-day -day stuff. Um, within that, there's obviously research project team meetings and, and meetings with my individual colleagues to discuss the project and, and how things are going. Um, and then there's also trying to fit CPD into my days as well. So that might be attendance at seminars or discussion groups or things like training and conferences and just reading research papers as well to keep on top of what's coming out that's new and exciting in, in health psychology as well. Um, and a key thing for me, um, obviously I work in a research role at the moment, but I am trained as a practitioner psychologist so it's keeping those kinds of skills up to date as well so I'll attend things like coaching groups and practitioner skills groups as well just to keep the more practitioner skills side of my practice ticking over as well. So my training journey was quite a long one. Um, so I did my undergraduate degree in psychology and finished that in 2011. Um, but health psychology wasn't mentioned while I was on my undergraduate course. So I left not really knowing what, what I wanted to do. So I ended up going into various roles in finance and then the pharmaceutical industry. Um, and it was that latter move to the pharmaceutical industry, which probably switched me on to health psychology because I was working in, a, I guess, a healthcare environment. I was speaking to healthcare professionals on a day-to-day -day basis. And I started to think, you know, how psychology could contribute to the work they were doing and supporting people with, for example, long-term conditions. So that got me sort of looking into, into health psychology and discovered that that did exist and it was out there. Um, so I realized, right, I'd love to do something in that. So I then went on to do my stage one training, which was a master's in health psychology at the University of Stirling. Um, and then I was fortunate after that to secure a place on the NHS Education for Scotland Health Psychology Training Programme. Um, which provides a two year funded and supervised placement within the NHS in Scotland. So I spent two years um, completing a series of projects to meet the competencies required for the BPS stage two qualification in health psychology. Um, so it's really hard to pick a favourite thing because there's so much I love about health psychology and, and the work we can do. And I've already done such a diverse range of work through my training and, and the roles I'm doing now. But I think the thing I love about health psychology is the scope and the diverse range of roles and settings that we as health psychologists can, can work in. Um, I think there's a huge amount of scope there. I think people are becoming more aware of health psychology and more switched on to what we can offer and what value we can add. And I think it's a really exciting time to be in health psychology. Um, I think also it's a really friendly, supportive community, um, which I think is a really nice thing to be part of as well. There's probably a lot you could do that would give you valuable experience if you're looking to become a health psychologist. I think um, looking at things like, you know, the third sector, um, voluntary organisations would be great experience, but also think anything in the NHS or, for example, the social care sector as well, um, support workers, those kinds of roles, I think, would all be really valuable experience for somebody looking to pursue a career in health psychology.